Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll be telling you everything about dragon fruit and how to use it. Bruh. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. And also, at 30k subscribers, I'll be doing some giveaways just like I did at 25,000 subscribers. If you want to partake in them, join the Discord server in the description below. Let's get straight into the video. There will be five main topics that I will go over in this video. They are the fruit itself, its farming capabilities, its PvP capabilities, what to use with dragon, and some combos. Here are the timestamps, so feel free to skip ahead if you want to watch a specific part. The dragon fruit. The dragon fruit costs three and a half million belly, and it is mythical rarity, so it's really hard to get. Dragon has a couple abilities. The first thing to note is that Dragon has a Fury Meter. It goes up passively while you are still alive. You will need the Fury Meter later on. The first move, Heat Wave Beam. It is a medium range AoE move. It can mainly be used as a chipping move to chip away at the opponent's health from a distance. The blast at the end moves enemies away from the blast and if they are caught in the beam, they are dragged away from them. The second move, Dragonic Claw. It is a close range, single target move. You grab onto someone and drag them across the floor, then slamming them down, burning the enemy. If you hit this move in the air, it will take you straight down for a while or until you hit the ground. It can be used as a combo extender. The third move, Fire Shower. It is a medium to long range AoE move. It can be held to increase duration of the move. It can hit multiple targets, doing lots of damage to each of them while also stunning them. It is more consistent the closer you are to the enemy. It can be used as a stunning move, combo starter, and combo extender. It doesn't work when high in the air. The fourth move, Dragon Flight. It is just a mobility move that lets you fly forever in the direction of your mouse. It is relatively fast and can be used to get away from enemies by flying straight upwards while dodging moves. The fifth move, Transformation. This move turns you into a big dragon, giving you altered moves and an extra 62.5% damage reduction, which is really good if I do say so myself. This move can only be used at max fury. Using moves in the dragon form uses up some of the fury meter. You de-transform when the fury meter reaches zero. Transformed Heat Wave Blast. This is the same as the untransformed move, but it has a longer range and wider AoE. Transformed Dragonic Claw. This is completely different to the untransformed move. It shoots three giant claw marks out, one directly at your mouse cursor and the other two at a 45 degree angle on each side. This does slightly less damage than the untransformed version because of the enormous hitbox, but it still applies burning. Transformed Fire Shower. This move is similar to the untransformed version, but still different. It can be held to increase duration. Create a ball in your mouth which shoots out laser beams towards the ground. When the beams hit the ground, they create large AoE explosions, doing lots of damage. Again, not good for enemies in the air. Dragon Flight. The Dragon Flight move does nothing in transformation. You can't use it at all. This is because you passively fly, using your WASD keys. You can change the color of your dragon fruit by finding the colored circles in your sea and flying through them. The higher mastery you have, the more colors you can choose out of. In the first sea, the circles are at the lower sky islands. In the second sea, they are behind the ice castle. In the third sea, they are behind floating turtle island. Now farming. This fruit is mediocre for farming regular enemies because of the moves AoE pushing the enemies back, but it does do high damage which can be good for enemies with less health. This fruit can also be really good for bosses because of the high damage, good combo potential, and fast moves. The transformation also has a lot of AoE, but it doesn't matter as much because they each have large hitboxes. PvP. Dragon has a combo starter and good combo potential with high damaging moves. If utilized well, it can be a great fruit in PvP. The only downside to Dragon, aside from it's really expensive, is that it is almost useless in the air when untransformed because Draconic Claw is hard to hit and takes you straight down when hit and also the Fire Shower has to hit an object to make the AoE that hits the enemies. What to use with Dragon The best weapons to use with Dragon are a Sidium Rifle for the stuns, 
and spiky trident for the combo potential. The best fighting styles with dragon are dragon talent, god human, superhuman and electric claw. Dragon works well with most fighting styles but works the best with the aforementioned ones. The best races to use with Dragon are Fish V4 because of the damage resistance, which stacks with the damage resistance of the transformation, and Human V4 because Dragon does a lot of damage already, and with the 3 teleports and damage increase, you will slaughter your enemies from every direction. Basic combos for Dragon. God Human and Superhuman have the same combo. It is Dragon C, Sticky Trident X, Dragon X, Look Back, God Human or Superhuman Z, then C, then Dragon Z. For Electric Claw, it is Dragon C, Spiky Trident X, Dragon X, Look Back, E Claw X, C, look up, E claw C, look down, then Dragon Z. For Dragon Talon, it is Dragon C, Spiky Trident X, Dragon X, look back, Dragon Talon X, then Z, then Dragon Z. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.